Hey everybody, it's James Freeman. The following event occurred on May 5th, 2021 in Hartford County, Maryland. Hartford County Deputy Jackson, shield number 603, had stopped this vehicle claiming he was doing 70 in a 55 and pulled him over in an attempt to extort him. He immediately escalated the stop claiming that he smelled marijuanas and ordering the driver to turn off the car, turn over the keys, and get out of the car. During the stop, the deputy gets the driver to engage in what seems to be meaningless small talk with him. Him. But there's nothing meaningless about anything the cop is doing or saying, and the victim walks right into his trap, incriminating himself verbally over and over again on camera. Ash all over you right there. You didn't shove nothing down in your pants, did you? No, no. All right. You turn around real, real quick. Even if there was more, and if it was like right on the line, I, I'll still work in your favor just because you're being decent. I try not to push it too much unless somebody's giving me a hard time. The deputy pretends to be friendly while victimizing this completely dumbed down, ignorant member of our society. Wait him for a second. I'm just going to check the car real quick. Like I said, don't worry about nothing. I mean, if there is more in there, I don't need you to tell me about it. I'm going to check it anyway, and then we'll just get everything out in front of us, and I'll try to work it out for you, okay? This video is actually about the way that Deputy Jackson treats people that want to record him while he victimizes people. Yo. Ocean King, another uh, person's walking up on us now. Just as Deputy Jackson is about to start rummaging through this guy's personal belongings, a guy who goes by Long Island Audit starts coming up recording. Can I help you? Can I help you? What's your name? You can back up, please. This is a public sidewalk. This is a, this is a traffic stop. You need to back up. This is a public sidewalk. You can't walk up behind us. On a sidewalk. Hey, listen. Back up. Listen. You don't know me. I don't back know you. up. You don't know me. I'm telling you to back up. Like you I'm telling you to back up. I don't care. Who do you think? Back up. Millions of people watch. Back up. I'm telling you. Yes. Back up. While the man recording does appear to be trying to conceal his identity with some type of silly mask over his face, he does not appear to be a threat of any kind whatsoever. Yet Deputy Jackson immediately tries to escalate to violence, pulling out a taser. You're gonna tase me? Yes. Back up. I'm on a public sidewalk. Back up. I'm on a public sidewalk. This is a traffic stop. You do not belong I am, here. I am far away. I have a right to film the police. The you can go over court, there. The Supreme You're court interrupting. Me, no, I'm not. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Now, if you go back and look, you'll see that Long Island Audit didn't even attempt to converse with the officers until Deputy Jackson came up and addressed him. Once approached by the deputy, he made his intentions perfectly clear that he intended to be there recording police activity. For what? I'm on a You're sidewalk, under arrest. Sir. You're under arrest for hindering. Turn I'm around, put your hands behind your back. Sir. Turn around and I'm put your hands on a sidewalk. I'm telling you right now, bud. Put your hands behind your back. All right, listen. Don't listen. reach in your pockets. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, 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 I don't want, I'm not. It's in order to prevent transparency, both of these ADD officers completely turn their back to their original victim in order to arrest the guy who's trying to document their activities. I'm not interfering with anything, sir. Sir, I'm not interfering with anything. I'm on a sidewalk. You're under arrest, I told you. For what? Hindering. Sir, I was on a sidewalk. You can let go of this. I was on the sidewalk. You can let sir? go of this. Everything's being on and visually recorded, okay? Sir. Okay. This I is going to go in your pocket for the time sir, being. I'm on the sidewalk, sir. The deputy made it perfectly clear that this was just about the fact that Long Island Audit was recording. If it wasn't, then why did the deputy stop his recording and take his phone and put it in his pocket? The deputy emphasized that Long Island didn't need his recording because the deputy was recording on his body cam. And sir, listen to me. Listen to me. Through dispatch. Can you open up a separate card for uh, hindering? And uh, Mark 1095 Andrew, here. For what? Start me You're supervisor, making a big mistake. You guys are making a big I'm on a sidewalk. This is a public sidewalk, sir. I'm allowed to walk on the sidewalk. He told you we're in the middle of a traffic But I'm walking on the sidewalk, okay. sir. I'm walking on the public sidewalk. Can I speak to a sergeant? Yeah, they're coming. You're going to have a seat right here on the curb. The deputy then starts using typical cop commands that masters also use on their dogs. The arbitrary command of having another human sit like a dog is not about anything other than demeaning and asserting dominance over that other human. What I do is I film the police okay. from publicly accessible areas. You can stand over there and film us from the front. You cannot walk up. Listen to me. I was walking Listen to me. I was, going, I was going that way. You didn't no, no, no. Walk you walked up way. behind us, and when I told you to back up, you're telling me this is a sidewalk. No, you can't get because this close. Maryland and the Harford County Sheriff's Office, which I am, a Harford County Sheriff's Office deputy, okay? We will allow you to video. This statement proves that Deputy Jackson may be one of the most dangerous cops on the street. He actually believes that rights are granted by him and the Hartford County Sheriff's Office. 
He has a gross misunderstanding of rights and believes that people get to exercise them because he allows it. I don't care if you're standing over in the parking lot where I can see you away from the traffic stop. Let me say this. If police can tell you where you can stand and where you can record from, especially while they're searching a car, then they can certainly tell you to stand somewhere where you won't see them planting something in the car. It makes absolutely zero logical sense to say that you can record police activity, but only in a manner in which police are okay with. Could you imagine if during the George Floyd murder, officers were actually allowed to tell people where they can and can't stand while recording? Naturally, they would make sure that all the cameramen were in a location where they could not record the murder. Not because they're trying to hide something, but for officer safety and scene control, of course. But as soon as we do a traffic stop or any other type of investigation, we drop a bubble on the area that we're in. Now, watching the body cam and the video from Long Island Audit, I'm unable to actually see this magical bubble that this deputy is talking about. So I googled the Maryland traffic stop or any other type of investigation bubble. I'd assume that maybe somebody else had captured this magical bubble on film, but, well, since you can't film near the bubble, how could anyone have captured it? Usually some type of statute or something would come up when you type this in, but the only thing I can find is multiple links to this particular video. There was no legislation or case law anywhere to be found on this magical bubble. The only thing that I could find anywhere in the world about this magical bubble was this particular video and Deputy Jackson's claim that the magical bubble exists. Deputy Jackson has now taken the freedom, the liberty of a man based on a magical bubble that exists only in a land of fairies and unicorns. You're not walking up behind me. No, I wasn't trying. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. You walked from over there to right here. You're not walking okay. up. Listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. You're not going to get the full answer unless you just stop. If you want to listen to the rest of what this piece of trash has to say, a link to the full video is in the description. It's the next part that was upsetting to some people who don't actually comprehend how the system really works. You see, there are people who think that you can buy a lawyer, fight your charges, and once it's dismissed, you won. Let me show you how this actually works in real life. In 2018, Boulder police illegally and unlawfully arrested a man for wanting to watch while the police harassed homeless people. He fought and beat the criminal charges and filed a lawsuit. After four years, in January of 2022, the city settled for $95,000. Despite the charges being dismissed because the man had not committed a crime, and the city settling for $95,000, the Boulder Police Department maintains that their officer never did anything wrong. Therefore, he will do it again in the future. In one case that Long Island Audit is dealing with right now, he's dealing with a cop that's already facing six federal lawsuits, but he's still out on a daily basis violating people. So for anybody who thinks that fighting charges in court or suing changes cop behavior, I think the evidence says otherwise. So in this particular case, Long Island Audit was offered a plea. He didn't actually plead guilty to any criminal charges, but agreed to write a letter apologizing that the officers got scared about his presence. In exchange, the prosecution would drop the criminal charges. He accepted the deal, making a lot of people who don't have a clue what's actually going on around them very upset. You see, there are actually people out there who thought that if he spent tens of thousands of dollars fighting this in court to prove his innocence, that in the end, police would stop violating people's rights. <laughs> You know what the win is? Being able to expose these guys for the thieves and thugs that they are and walk away with minimal damages to yourself. Therefore, in my book, this is one of the biggest wins I've seen yet. He exposed Dirty Deputy Jackson, proved that there's a magistrate in the county that will sign off on probable cause affidavits without probable cause, and proved that the prosecutor will also prosecute cases without probable cause. What it cost him to expose this to the world was a few hours in jail and the time that it took him to write the letter apologizing to Snowflake Jackson for hurting his feelings and scaring him. Due to the fact that police, prosecutors, judges are clearly not accountable to the law in any way whatsoever, the only thing that makes change is when they choose to admit wrong and make the change themselves. So just like this Boulder police officer will continue to violate people because his higher-ups are okay with it, Deputy Jackson will actually continue to violate people, but it's not because of anything that Long Island Audit did or didn't do. No, it's because the Harford County Sheriff's Department higher-ups and the sheriff himself encourage such bad behavior. As many of you are aware, on May 4th of this year, two of our deputies were conducting a traffic stop on Route 40 in Joppa when an individual who identifies himself as a constitutional activist purposefully and deliberately approached our deputies from behind and under the cover of darkness. A short 24 second clip of a cell phone video capturing the incident and arrest 
posted online by that individual generated public attention back in May. As sheriff, I responded publicly with our own body camera video of the encounter so the public could see the event in an unbiased and unedited manner. In my initial statement, I said we would conduct a thorough investigation into the incident, and that process has been ongoing since May 4th. I will offer that our Office of Professional Standards did not identify any violation of policy or law during the already completed work of the administrative investigation. No matter what Long Island Audit did or didn't do, just like in the case of the Boulder Police Department claiming they've done nothing wrong, Harford County Sheriff Jeffrey Galler had already decided that his officer had done nothing wrong and would encourage him to do it again. There are people out there who actually accuse me of trying to make cops look bad. But as you can see, these guys make themselves look horrible. I just published the video. Back the blue until it happens to you.